but also great. Back again with Adam Leonard, and we're going to be looking at round two of the Limerick Regional. Uh, and in this game, we have uh, Key McDonald of Team Sweetness on the right, and we have um, Niall, is it Kyle Power um, of Limerick on the left playing Dark Magician. Um, so, what, do you, what, what are your thoughts as to this matchup, Adam? I mean. I think my thoughts should be fairly obvious considering the Sky Striker is one of the best decks and Dark Magician is Dark Magician. Yeah, Although yeah. Although in saying that, see, like, Kyle just goes activate circle, get vanilla, set two pass, and now Keen's gonna activate very good and probably just get, like, a free draw off that. If he sends Metal Fusion, or he could send, like, Widow Anchor or Engage just to get it back with Gary. Yeah, and we don't know what Kyle has set either. It, it could be, for example, he could have, like, a Magician's Navigation, which will give him the Banish. Yeah. Um, it could have... Um, Eternal Soul. Eternal Soul or something. Um, I think that the first game is probably going to be easier, but once Key incides in some, some quick play back row hate for, uh, for for Carl's continuous spells and traps, it's really going to really gonna hurt. It's funny how very good in Striker is that he just upstairs. Genuinely. And he also opened Roto, which is pretty strong. Because that means that he's immediately got away into his link monsters. Burial Goods and Rota are essentially yeah. just just upstart, just two yeah. upstart goblins. He's also crazy. immediately got three spells and great for any striker card you might want to activate. Oh, and this is where I realized that the the <laughs> the, the camera's at a really weird angle and it just rotated it around. <laughs> so where is he on the set? Is it multi roll though? That's the question. No. I, <laughs> no, I, I would be. I would hope <laughs> it's not multi roll. <laughs> Jesus. It just goes the other way around, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, reveal Ray, reveal Aries here. Oh, that was, that was quite sad. That was yeah. pretty sad. Very sad. Is he going to take... He takes the second Ray. Yeah. For Kay's next turn. For just in case. It's unfortunate. That was very, <laughs> very sad. Oh, and he hit the terror. Wow. He yeah, had the, the terraforming off of that. Yeah, the terraforming was what he had set. Very zero. Very zero. It's quite sad. Okay, he's going to melt the fusion, shut the back draw once. Now he's got three spells in grave, but I would. Let's see if he draws anything at all. Worth long. <laughs> draws engage, watch. He's gonna watch do it. it. He's gonna draw engage. I don't know if he drew engage. <laughs> we'll never know. He's gonna activate engage. Oh, no. Jarrow is all oh, fuck, unfortunate. So he's obviously not too fussed about the banishes. Ooh, that's really nice. Yeah, hitting the strike was good. That's really, really nice. Well, he's not, it's not he's not fussed with the banishes, he just can't pop the circle with Jarrow. He only pops sets. Oh, it's true, yeah, yeah. Okay. And also, the banishes don't really do much because Ray will yeah. just come back anyway. That's the navigation there coming out. Okay, so the ray is... He's probably going to try to banish the ray, but he can just chain the ray. So it's fine. So he summoned a vanilla and magician deck illusion. I don't really know what that one does. Apparently neither does he. <laughs> if I had my phone on me, I could look it up. But uh, that, that would only have been smart of me, wouldn't it? Let's look it up on my phone, because I have mine on me all the time. I believe it. it, it, it is some form of back row hate or something. It summons itself somehow, I think. It's some, if you special summon Dark Magician or like activate I think it's, if you activate a, a spell trap during your opponent's turn, I think you summon it. Yeah. And if you activate a spell trap while it's based on the field, target Dark Magician, you're going special it. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's just a bit of recursion. Yeah. Okay. I know Tomas and his deck, which is... His profile's up on our channel. They yeah. strike your Dark Magician and he chose not to play it at all. Yeah. I don't know what happened there. Why is circling grave? Oh, he popped it. With, Somehow. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> it's not out there as well. <coughs> I was too busy looking up a magician deck illusion. Oh, he he, uh, Kian ogred it. Kian ogred the circle. Oh, oof. Yeah, um, that really, that really hurts. Okay, send engage off my Ate, and now he's just gonna go mad with himself a bit. Yep. And this is where all the mad advantage comes out. He's how many? He's two guys in hand. He's gonna go for Gary Ed back engage, and he's probably gonna access engage. He could, he could maybe hold it for next turn and get a second one off Shizuku, but it's way better to get some interruption off the engage. Yeah. So let's see what he adds here now. He could add the uh, yeah the multi roll, add, yeah. add the multi roll, and then he could uh, he could go um, Zuku and then Zuku search pretty much you know anything, yeah. uh, and then chain the the card yeah. that he searches and then send it off multi roll. Yeah, he could go Shizuku search Widow Anchor. You could do through chain it, target the Shizuku, and then get it back off multi roll. Yeah. So let's see what he chooses to do now. That's probably what he's going to do. Because I don't think he's a way to get the engage back from the grave. I don't think he's another striker spell in this hand. And the multi row is insane as well. Like it, it just it just gives so much. So it, it just it just means he can't be interrupted next turn when he when he goes through his mm -hmm. plays. He's going to activate multi roll. And of course he is. Why not? That's just a great card. Yeah. The card is nuts. It just makes everything spell speed forward. It's, just, it's so crazy. So so crazy. 
Oh, he's got the boys now. He's got he's got multi roll area zero now for next turn. He's got drones as well. Oh Jesus! Oh wow. <coughs> okay. So that's one token, uh, one, um, one counter on uh, area zero. Multi roll effect targets token. <laughs> so the hit monsters only is free. Hmm. Is that a back roll? And and phase and phase set in the cage. Well, he's gonna Zuku first. Oh, like yeah, I say. Yeah. And phase Zuku. I think what he gets off the, the shark cannon, I think he searches. What he gets off this depends on what he has set. He gets, oh, the eagle booster. He gets the eagle booster, which would lead me to believe that his other back row could be a widow anchor. Yeah. Uh, the widow anchor doesn't do much against dark condition anyway. Exactly. He's very barrel feigning, eagle booster on purpose. So I'm chaining eagle booster. Back the multi roll, set the engage, and set that. Chopping the horses of Hunter's Mow, which is which? Reflex. It's nice how you get to shuffle them. Yeah. So Kyle draws for turn with his Spider-Man shirt. I like it. Shout out to Kyle for <laughs> Oh my god, shirt. he got flexed on. Oh wow. Oh actually I was I was watching this game and Kyle had the secret village the first turn. Yeah? Like he opened it in his opening hand. I don't know why he didn't activate it turn one. Yeah. Hmm. Because that would have just shut down everything. That would have very stopped Keen playing the game. Unless Keen plays like an Akashic Magician or something which I I Well, because Keen opened neither ray, so he would have very just pass. Yeah. Like the only, Live and learn, I guess. The only play around Village is normal Ray, enter Balthus, make this 2, make Clara. Oh, he got the other circle. I do not see this going very well for Keen, no. unless he has a, some kind of way to out the Village, but at the same time, it's not looking great for him right now. Does he Village negate or just stop activation? It stops activations. Okay, so he has the multi roll, he has the area zero. Yeah. So he has ways he can play. He does, he can go multi roll target. Area zero. Yeah. And then someone ray. Well, he has a ray in hand anyway. Yeah, he does. He does. But that's easy to link, so he can yeah. just. It's easy to link material. The way he normally summons the way he summons up area zero, so he can just make. Um, not Mercury Phoenix. I. Oh, I. Yeah, so he gets bashed in the face by the repetition. Mm -hmm. He's going to summon back to ray. Just to kind of block that much of the zooming. Probably going to chain it here into like a high out here or something to send something extra. Maybe into which Gary perhaps. Back. Yeah, he's he's looking at this great card anyway and, and weighing up his options. Yeah. So he could send maybe an, an eagle booster because he has doesn't have one yet. Um, but I don't really see that being of much use. So no, he's, he's just gonna let the, let the ray die. And uh, oh no, he's not. He's gonna chain the ray and someone high out there. Or can that's the kind of yeah. It's the kind of target the. Dark Magician Magician? Dark Magician? Dark Magician? Dark Magician of Magician Dark Magician. Magician of Dark Magician, that one. <laughs> that boy. We got there in the end. It's the journey that counts. The Magician who is dark and practices illusions. Okay. The Kaina is quite strong actually. Kaina, Kaina is, is, is such a good card in the deck. Like It gives them so much... It gives them something in time where they didn't really have anything before apart from maybe like attack with... Um, attack with Hayate. Um, but the, the kind is really nice because if time is literally called in main phase and you, you don't catch it, then yeah. you can just activate a few spells and, and gain 100 life points. Area 0 on the set. Maybe area 0, unfortunate. So, well, okay. Things are happening. Oh, yeah, the secret village. So they're, they're, they're talking about the secret village. Oh, they're, they're trying to figure out the ruling of if it's Imperial Order or if it's just stopping Yeah. Or self activation. That's so he takes, takes the, he takes the. He's had some turn. very grim uh, reveals off area zero so far this game. Yeah, not, they've not probably really gone well for him. Have no, they? not at all. I also, three is a mistake in that he couldn't have multi rolled to summon Ray and then make Clara because Clara needs to watch the normal team. Oh yeah. Whoopsie. Yeah, yeah. He's in a really tight spot here because the cane is going to block it off his zone here. No, he can just use the cane signature. Not for Clara, he can't. Not for Clara, but he can make uh, another Phoenix. Oh my god, yeah, that's a card that exists. <laughs> <laughs> so he's, wow. I think I think at this point he just, he just, he probably normal summon his ray, his area zero, summon ray, um, make his, not my phoenix, pop the, the secret village and proceed to go off from there. See, he also knows that he has an eternal soul face down, so what he could also do is he could make phoenix pop eternal soul, new for the opponent's board, his opponent no longer has any spell cast, and he could activate his spells anyway. Is eternal soul not only when it's sent from face up, or is it just when it's sent from the grave? Nice. If I'm correct, I don't know. 
I don't think it's ever that often. <laughs> I used to play through quite a bit. I'm assuming you can just straight up pop the, the village. Yeah. Which is probably better in the first place. Because then he can use his, his, his back row and um yeah. like he can he can he can use his yeah. his his back row hate to get rid of the rest of his yeah. stuff. Pops the village. So now he has an engage face down, which could clean very, very much here. That is one can't respond to anything. Spell speed for engage, yeah. <laughs> Two of them good. It's crazy. You can't respond. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to navigate. He can't hear you, Adam. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I wish he could. So uh, he's gonna search after this. Probably a. Um, oh no, okay, I was gonna say Widowmaker. He's gonna get Afterburner, Afterburner, pop a monster, and pop probably the, the set Eternal Soul. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. Or maybe he's forgotten the Eternal Soul was there and he can pop the Circle either just to avoid the banishes. They can't respond anyway, so we can't chain whatever he's targeting with the pop. So he's popping his own Phoenix to get back into a striker engine, that's pretty good. Yep, he's mm. popping the set as well, and the board gets me. Keen's just reading him so Maybe it doesn't get nuked. No, I think it's only when it's stuck in face set. Ah, okay. That's a bit unfortunate. It's, it's very unfortunate. And he, uh, Kai must have had no Dark Magicians and Graves still enough return, so get the banish effect. Oh, he couldn't respond anyway! Yeah, he couldn't respond. He has a multi-roll, he can't respond. Oh, I'm so dumb. So now he's gonna make Gary, because now he's back into Striker Engine, which is nice. Is he gonna make Gary? Oh, he's gonna make Hayate first. Hayate. Oh, I think he might realize he doesn't have an engaging grave. He just is engaging, eh? Yeah, but it got banished off. Oh, off yes. Off. yes, 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 of course. So he realized that he didn't have an engaging grave, so he's gonna just attack Hayate. Into Rod. Yeah. I think Rod is like 1200 attack or something. 16, I thought. 16, maybe. That's pretty hench. Or well, Hencher and Hayate, anyway. Look it up, anyway. Let's, let's have a find out. So now he's taking off the, um, the Hayate. Since Rod is 1600 attack. 1600. <laughs> so he crashed Hayate so we can summon Ray, and then still in battle phase, we could make Kigari. Is Hayate when it declares an attack, it gets the bird? Uh, when it battles. When it battles. Oh, right, okay, that's cool. That's cool. So if you get your ray back and destroy a strike and also you can chain it, tag into Hayate, send up the grave. That's really nice. And get some advantage off that. Man, I need to play this game more often. <laughs> so add, adds back the ray with the Hayate. Oh, adds back the engage, sorry, with the Hayate. I think adding back ray is the greatest play in the world there. Okay, now he's going to crash the... Gary as well. Actually, no, the Kagari is probably pretty, pretty, pretty big. It's, it's probably big enough to kill it. Yeah. I don't know how many spells he has in Grave, but he must have enough if he's well enough. Uh, Magician is 21, right? Yeah, so he needs, so he he needs 7 in Grave. Yeah, he is. And he will have 7. Okay, activate Engage. Get Eagle Booster, probably. Just to avoid the banish, maybe. Get Widow Anchor. Interesting. Yeah, he suppose. cycled through a lot of different um, spells. Yeah. So. He's gonna draw card. Up the graveyard. And multi roll is gonna set like 50 spells now in end phase. Yeah, multi roll is gonna get back every single card he's used this turn. Multi roll is a ridiculous card. So he's gonna get back. Um, probably. Uh, he's probably gonna end on like an anchor. Um, uh, ego booster. I uh, know ego booster is gone now, actually. Yeah. So he could be on like anchor, uh, maybe some back row hate. Oh no, he's only taking one. <coughs> well, he can take the field as well. He can set oh, the yeah, he can set the engage here and set field spell and then end phase so he can search another copy of engage. So we'll have two copies of engage for next turn, which is you have three. Basic, oh, two, yeah, which is basically draw four. But. Okay, so he's thinking thinking carefully about this one. He's thinking about what he's going to take. Probably gonna take the engage, maybe. We don't really see what else he would take here. So he He's thinking about the jamming wave. Um, because the back row hate and dark magician is just, just, just kills the deck. Yeah, they don't so like it that much. Okay, yeah, yeah he's so he takes grab, the jamming wave. Grab the jamming wave. <laughs> so it sets them both. No need to shuffle. <laughs> yeah, there's easy. Not really much often you can do, like. Then MP Shizuku, so he's gonna switch card.
I'm not sure we get off music here. Is that Nine Crazy? It is Nine Crazy. Mm. Thought he had Nine Crazy. Oh no, he hasn't used it yet. No, he, he got it off engaged and just had it straight away. No, I, I need to work on my short term memory. <laughs> Big time. The Dark Knight player has drawn a trap, I still think. Probably, um, probably in turn so. Mm. Since I think most most Dark Magician builds only take like two navigation. Yeah. Navigation's quite situation. But at the same time, we saw we saw the pile was manning solemns. Yeah. So it could bring, of course, yeah. could bring potentially be a solemn because mm -hmm. of the He's attacking his Shizuku with Rod, not realizing that his Rod is very, very small because of Shizuku. <laughs> so now his Rod dies. That's a bit unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. This is the way you There's a very there's a very rogue uh, scene in Nimric for, for, from what it seemed when I was there. Um, mm -hmm. I, I don't think I saw a single meta deck from uh, a Nimric there. Unfortunate. Yeah, it's quite unfortunate. Like the but by, by the the final round, like the the, the top eight tables are. I, I'm I'm pretty sure almost all players from like Cork or Dublin. Cork, Cork by the finish of monster. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, I don't see how how Kyle's gonna get through this. I really don't see it either. It, like, he looked like he was in a pretty decent position when he did the village, but. That's not there anymore. He's yeah. gonna well, storm duster and standby. Yeah, standby dusters. That could be very painful if you remember to spare. Oh, okay. hitting the multi roll is correct. Hitting the hitting, hitting the field the, spell. Hitting the field spell is very incorrect. Why? No, that's not how you do it. It's not how you win against Sky Striker. He he's just giving him a free link material. You probably should have hit the widow marker or something like that. Or the jamming wave, maybe. No. It's fine because the field spell is banished anyway, so it doesn't get its effects. That's what makes sense to the, to the graveyard by card effect. True. Actually, I guess since it was set up on it's probably fine. Yeah, it is fine. It just stops from getting free advantage. So now Kian just thinks about you know, how, he, how he's going to dismantle this guy. <laughs> Jesus. I genuinely, it's like Kian has what four cards in hand, four cards, in, five cards in field, and the Dark Magician player has three cards in total. Yeah. So he's like plus five. Yeah, that's the striker really do do like doing that sometimes. And now he's plus six. <laughs> yeah. oh, Count boy. your advantage, kids. Oh, oh boy, get after burners now. He's gonna be fucking plus eight or plus seven. Yikes. Yep. Oh, oh he has the navigation. Navigation's in grave. I don't know how we got so hyped about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> Yes, mediocrity, I love some of that. <laughs> It's like, okay, you won't out my board yet, <laughs> but you will out it. It's literally just, um... He's thinking on whether or not to use it. Well, he can't use it after this, oh, anyway. And he hasn't used multi rolls so... Well, he hasn't used multi rolls because he hasn't got any more. And he can only use, um... He can only use navigation where he has a dark condition on field. Yeah, so he'll need to use it now if he's going to use it later. Mm. So Keen's just baiting it out here, I'd say. Yeah, this is just protection. Yeah, he's going to use it. Yeah. He has to. He has the two engraved as well, I think, does he? No, he only has one. He's he only has to hit one this turn. Unless one of the You know what's team. nuts? Do you do you see Tomas' deck profile? Who? Tomas. Oh Tomas is the Dark Vision Sky Strike. Yeah. Deck. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. He he plays two navigation just so he can pop them off of multi roll in area zero. So he can get yeah. the negate effect. It's insane. It's pretty cool. It's so cool. Tomas is brain too big. I feel like Tomas just saw these two decks and yeah. was like, alright, let's just like throw them together. I like how the multi roll got popped and so he was like, okay, well, I guess I'll just search another one. <laughs> And then draw a card. Yeah. Search one, draw a card. I've activated Pot of Greed, but I get to pick one of the draws. Is that what, six cards in his hand? It's a lot of cards anyway. There's the multi roll. Yep. Yippee. I feel like this game is a pretty much foregone conclusion at this point. Yeah. Unless. I I literally have no idea how this could get good. Okay, so he's going to pop his own set, January, so he can pop it out of and probably get the game. Oh, it's a shared ride anyway, so it does nothing it's against this deck. They only really search with um, Rod hmm. and then um, Circle, I guess. The Circle counts? Yeah. Yeah, Circle counts. Yeah, Circle, yeah, circle is the pseudo search, I would say. No, yeah, Circle's duality. I'm pretty sure you draw duality if you have to trade ride. Yes, um, Circle adds a card from deck to hand. Oh, ah, yeah. Yes. Correct the Mundo. Okay, now he's going to make. Shizuku. She's not quite pushing for game yet. 
That's what it is, but I mean, to be fair, I don't think he has the other way to properly push the game. Yeah. Right now. Well, he, he basically has game next next turn anyway. Because Dark Magician doesn't really um, like shit out resource in the same yeah, way that, really, that Striker does. They can't really so play with one or two cards with like that. Keen's just, just very, very ahead. I think his opponent is around 3,000 3, yeah. life or something now, and Keen is pretty much untouched. Yeah, and now he's getting another search. Off to Shizuku. Mm hmm. Again, he could do the Eagle Mr. Play here because multiples, but I'm not sure if it's multiples or not since he hasn't. We haven't seen it since the other one got banished. Yeah, he'll probably end up taking the Shark Cannon or something since almost everything is, is banished. Yeah, he also doesn't have an anchor in grave. The Shark Cannon would be quite good if he, if he main decks it. Yeah, yeah and there it is. Yeah. Because it, 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 it stops. Um, it'll stop Kyle's graveyard or Christian off the Dark Magicians. Yeah. It's well traps. But is, is Magician Evolution counted as a Dark Magician in grave? I'm not sure. Let's find out. Magician of Dark Illusion, what do you count as? So, uh, activating the Shark Cannon to banish the Dark Magician. He's only Dark Magician. And he's going to set it again. He's only Dark Magician when he's on the field. Only on the field, okay. He's going to set the Area Zero. And. Oh my god, I thought he was looking through his deck, that's just great. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, it's so big. He gets back to engage again. He gets back to engage. Nice. So much advantage. So much ridiculous amount of advantage. Yeah, it's pretty insane. Oh, the River of Darkness. That's an old ass River of Darkness. Yeah, it's quite old, isn't it? You, you can see how it just looks, it looks a bit, like, a bit red almost. No, it's just the hollow, the way the hollow was shining through. We've got yeah. a really old ass hollow allure. Did it get ashed? It got ashed. That's, oh, that's unfortunate. That's very sad. And Kyle just passes it over. Yeah, there's already what you can do here other than just accept this fate. This scoop point. really is, is, is the yes. best you can do at this point. Most definitely should have scooped already. He had already. So he's going to go after him, Gage. He doesn't even really need to do this. He could probably just kill him. Yeah. The games against. Um, Make Gary act with Shark Cannon, that should be game. G games against Striker, especially when you're playing a deck like Dark Magician, which isn't exactly tier 1, mm. are, are very very highly determined by your opening hand. It's quite a fire deck from tier 1, in my personal opinion. We'll, we'll see how the, how, how the, the game goes after siding anyway. Mm. As perhaps he's perhaps Kyle's prepared for the, the Striker matchup. Mm. But it's only really just a matter of, of until Kian can hit Kyle in the, hit the face hard enough. He'll probably end up popping Shizuku off multi roll or area zero. No, Summon his ray, um, attack with the ray, and then tag out. Well, he just popped the set off the multi roll, so it won't be off multi roll anyway. Yeah, so it'll be area zero. 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 No, he's attacking the Zuku. Okay. Oh, Kian just killed him already. Oh, still in battle phase after Sharkhand and win. It's my. Sharkhand is in grave. Oh, yeah. Um. Huh. Fair Kian, enough. just kill him. Oh uh, no, he wants to play with him. He likes to play he's playing with his food. <laughs> That's exactly what he's doing. A second allure. Another allure of darkness. Is that allure ulti? Holy oh shit. my goodness. Okay, this one resolves. Banishing Magician Dark Illusion. Okay, so he drew a dark monster off that at least. That is an ulti allure. That's very pretty. Ultimate flex. Oh, these are just so hot, man. Mm. Reads Shizuku. Yes, 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 yes. Make monster small and search carry. <laughs> yeah, just just scoop already, man. Come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> oh shit, some of the solution. Okay. Oh, the scared. Oh, that would have been fucking clutch. Yeah, that really would have been clutch. <laughs> oh. Oh, oof. Oh, no. <laughs> That's quite sad. Yeah. This is the end. My friend. Oh, unfortunately, you couldn't have to Dark Magic Attack. I think they probably would have actually legitimately won in the game. Yeah. It's crazy. Dark Magician has so many powerful cards, but uh, it's so, so incredibly inconsistent. They have an archetype of Feather Duster, Mark. Yeah. Oh, it just sucks that it's based around a level 7 monster. That's the worst thing about Levels it. up in vanilla. Best thing you can do is make fucking flare metal with him. 
Okay, end phase multi roll, get back, engage, and widow anchor. We drop a turn. So I anchor the. Yep, anchor again. Just hack again. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure that's game. Yeah, so yeah. scoop it up. That's game one. That was incredibly decisive. <laughs> <laughs> there was It's so funny how a game that was literally like like eight or nine turns was so decisive. There was a period of like one turn where Kyle looked like he was kind of in control and it was the turn reactivated the village. Yeah. And once Kian out with the village it was just all downhill from there. It just sucks that Kyle didn't activate village in turn one and also didn't um If he had he would have won. I yeah, think. He, 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 we would have done a lot better anyway. Like Phoenix is so easy to make in this deck. Um it's the only thing. Because their magician can push a pretty big damage too. Mm. So he could have done that, and he had one in hand as well, off of a circle, and he had navigation as well. So he could have activated that, passed the map, standby phase navigation, summon two, and then Keen's off out of spells. Or he could have waited to see if Keen would have. No, he shouldn't have done that. So <laughs> I was just thinking, um, he could have waited if he had a spell cast on board. He could have waited to see if Keen had the ray. And if Keen went normal Ray make Clara, he could have activated navigation, summoned their magician, banished the Clara, and Keen's in a lot of trouble then. You know what really annoys me about this setup? Their mats are like, like subtly, not even subtly, they're just quite far apart. And the Dark Magician player keeps pulling his mat through their pack. <laughs> to be fair to him, his mat is really cool. It's so pretty. It's lovely. Here we see some like, pile shuffle and following mm -hmm. side. Mm -hmm. Me likey pile shuffle. Eight is the best number for Pasha playing. It's absolutely com completely confirmed. So we'll see how they side anyway. Kian does four and just kind of bashes this guys <laughs> <laughs> into the box. <files. laughs> so it'll be interesting to see what the Dark Magician pair sides. Are. They're probably both side whatever back row hate they have, um, because yeah. they're both very back row heavy decks. Um, so we'll see from that anyway. Um, maybe Kaijus or something from the Dark Magician player would see if those come down. Um, and as for Kian, probably just whatever back row he has. I, 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 I can't really see him doing anything except for siding yeah. out the, the, um, shared rides. Kyle's, so the Dark Magician player here is actually go first. Kaijus likes to go first here, which means he probably has not sided any Kaijus. Yeah. He's also just set a card to pass. Ooh. That's, that's very, very unfortunate. unfortunate yeah. I do see an Ash Blossom in his hand though. It was an Ash, I thought it was an Ogre. Nice. Look like an Ash Blossom. Okay. So put throw down the area zero. Yep, I put area zero. Set a card, area zero target the card. This is all standard striker stuff. Mm -hmm. Striker doing striker things. Reveal Ray, reveal Ash, reveal Ogre, so obviously you have to take the Ray there. You don't really get a choice in the matter. <laughs> His area zero is just so grim. So, so grim. Oh, Metal Fusion. You drew it, but it's fine to draw area zero too. <laughs> Yeah, Metal Plus Fusion is fine to draw with Area Zero or with Muddy Road. Yeah, you just get a draw for free. It also becomes a copy of Upstairs. Yeah, it's crazy. Unless you draw it off itself. Very depressing. Draws a card. What kind of card is it? What colour is it? <laughs> Probably blue. <laughs> Cards by Cummings. Normal Ray. I was thinking about flipping his back row. The Maybe it's not. a solemn. Could be a, yeah. could be a solemn. So he attacks for 15. It's a, I'd say it's either a solemn or an internal solemn, and he gets some yeah. yeah. It's unfortunate, just the one the one back row that he drew. Yeah. Oh, Hayate. Yikes. This is a Hayate poke. That is a total of 3k. Here comes advantage. Yeah, sending gauge. Never mind. Oh, that's a strike. He most definitely should have struck the Ray's effect. He yeah. should not have waited for the high Hayate, because now he just gets the Ray back, and yeah. he can attack again with the Ray. Yeah. So then, Kyle's not taking 45. He, he, missed, he missed two windows there. Like He could have yeah. he could have struck the Ray effect to tag out, um, and even if he missed that, um, he could have struck the the Hayate. Yeah. Kyle's no, now, wait, I'm, I'm an idiot. What am I saying? <laughs> Kyle is now only on 2,000 life when he had an opportunity to only lose 3,000 here. Yeah. Like he took double the damage you have to take, and now Keen is still ahead and still is a striker engine running. Whereas if he just struck the ray, he probably would have been fine. Yeah. So now Keen's gonna set three. 
End phase, she's probably getting engage. Engage or multi roll, probably engage. We see here that the the strike the, the, the Darmishan player Kyle hasn't really had much experience against uh, the striker there. Yeah, boss he's done against the Shizuku. That was good. It was a, it was a good act, to be fair. There was no engage to hit, and he would have gotten the engage off the, the Shizuku anyway, and then been able to repair it off in multi roll, so. Kyle literally passed her. Yeah. It's unfortunate. So now it's pretty very hard. Unlike Kian, who appears to have opened very, very, very well. Yeah, Kian Ke just has game right now, anyway. Yeah, that's game already. That's game. Be the game. That was unfortunate. Yeah, we saw a few misplays in the Dark Ranger Pierce side. Yeah. Um, and Kian just slowly dismantling him. Oh, shit. Thanks so much, guys. I really appreciate that.